What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here. Today we're back on some Slime Rancher 2. Because I'm going to be telling you, mortals, what you need to know when it comes to puddle slimes. Because they work differently from other slimes that are in the game. They are totally different. So, puddle slimes can usually be found in remote areas. Um, in shallow waters like this as you can see they are just swimming around now I am currently on the starlight strand but you can get these slimes uh, on both areas starlight strand and ember valley so don't worry uh, so normally you just pick these up just like so you put them in your vac and you take them back to base but, like I said before, they don't work like normal slimes. Usually when they're out in the wild, it's very rare that you'll come across more than five slimes that are together. They usually only spawn in five. So, I'm going to take you to another place and show you. So, here we are at another location right next to this waterfall. I'm still on the Starlight Strand near the end of the map. And as you can see, there are some more puddle slimes right here so we got one two three four and five right there which makes us up to ten and I don't see any more round if you do come across a spawn of more than five it basically means that the puddle slimes aren't going to produce as much because they don't like being in big groups like the other slimes do so now I have 10 of these puddle slimes. I'm going to go back to base and tell you what you need to know about keeping these guys and to make them produce the puddle plots. We are back at base and I'm about to set up a corral or the habitat that the puddle slimes usually reside in when you bring them back. So, what you need to do, we're going to go all the way to the end and you're going to see the pond option. Now, you're going to buy this. There is no upgrades to this pond. There's no auto feeder. There's no plot collector. There's no high walls or N or anything like that. There is absolutely no upgrades apart from demolishing it. So this is what the pond looks like. And this is where you would usually put your puddle slimes. So most times when you make a crowd, you just go like, oh yeah, let's just fire them in there. They'll be okay and everything will be cool. And they'll just produce a bunch of plots for us. Puddle plots work Apps, uh, puddle slimes work really really differently so like I said before they don't like being in big groups whatsoever and as you can see they have now changed once the puddle plots are in like a big group like this you will notice a pink uh, marking that appears on their head which is that thing right there that means these guys will not produce any plots because there is too many of them together so we need to suck most of these out because like i said before they usually tend to spawn in groups of five or more uh, five sometimes you'll get more it's roughly about six um, but they usually like to reside in really, really small groups. As you can see, I've actually got five in this pond right now. And they're not happy at all. So we can keep removing until the little blue, the pink marks goes off the head. So as you can see right here, we've got three. I'm going to put another one in. Like so. They don't like being close together. That's why this kind of pond corral thing is just not ideal for storing these puddle slimes. So as you can see, they've gone pink. So four seems to be the maximum in these little pools. Which is really sad because it means you're going to have to have a bunch of them to get these guys to actually produce any type of plots that you will actually want. The reason why you've got these. But I, there is kind of a workaround. So, let me show you on the map. So, we're here on the map. What you are going to want to do is buy the two areas that you see. So, let me just go back up top. And I'm going to show you. So, this is the first area that you unlock. Uh, this one right here pretty cool on the map it's known as well i don't actually know what it's known as but 
it's the yellowy orangey area once you have purchased that one there is a secondary area that you will have to purchase now these purchases obviously uh, go higher so they cost more so this is the one you're going to want to purchase it is the tide pools uh, the one before that was the gully so that's the ones you need is the gully and then the tide pools now you would think oh tide pools that's water right well yes and no this is where i would usually store all my puddle slimes in these um ponds right here but it's not necessary once you have brought this area you there is two types of waters here so if, you, if we zoom in fully on the map you'll notice that there are two bits of water that are on this island um and you can actually put puddle slimes in here so as you can see i've actually already done this and there's five of them in this location one two three and four and five now like i said before there's no point of putting more than five in here because they just don't like it and they won't produce any type of plot whatsoever. But as you can see, they're nice and comfortable. It is quite a large area to only fit five of these, but I do get roughly, uh, from this section alone, about 15 plots every now and again, which is really, really nice. And then if we make our way over here where all these glimmering lights are, this is another stretch of water which I have put puddle slimes in. In. so there's five more puddle slimes in this section as well yet again it is a big area but only a maximum of five puddle slimes the maximum is five otherwise they don't like it and yet again this produces about 15 so with these two areas alone I get about 30 puddle plots which is nice um, and it's good because I don't have to buy a uh, three or four of these really stupid ponds just to put puddle slimes in just for them to produce what four plots every now and again it's it's really not good so that is what i recommend buy the tide pool areas uh, and put your uh, puddle slimes in the, the two existing like infinite water sources kind of thing that's what they basically are this water source never runs out you can suck up water from it and everything and you'll get a decent amount of puddle plots do not waste your time with this this is just ridiculous and it's absolutely dumb and it's not the best way to farm your puddle plots but more, that's sort of like the information that I have for you. Apart, there's only one other bit is that puddle slimes cannot be combined with any other type of slime whatsoever. They're a standalone slime. So that means you cannot combine them with pink, tabbies, just anything. Because they have their own kind of habitat, it means that they cannot be combined with any other type of slime because they are specific for that. Uh, habitat alone but that is all the information models i hope this does help you out and now you can probably try and harvest as many of these puddle plots as possible like i said before they work really differently from any other type of slime and trying to get their plots can be kind of a pain but now hopefully uh, you can just get as many as you want it only takes time now but that's the same with any other plot on this game so hopefully you enjoyed and I'll hopefully see you more in the next video.